This is my favorite car. Out of all the vehicles that the BMNG devs have made, this one stands out head and shoulders above everything else. It's not perfect, it's just a whole lot of fun and not too much power and doesn't rely on downforce, which is not particularly good in this game. But there is one problem with it, and that's the top speed. We're in fifth gear, and this thing is already struggling to reach 200 kilometers an hour. Like, why is there not more top speed? This is just bonkers. If only it could do more than 200 kilometers an hour. I think I have a plan for this. Here's a much bigger engine that, I don't know, I think I could stuff in there. And this is from the Civetta Bolide. I. I'm having a look here, line up the rear tires, and if we just have a look at the back of this engine, I'm pretty sure that will just fit in here. So, with <laughs> the big engine in here, I think we can make this thing a lot better. There is potentially a little bit of uh, a problem here. It is a lot of extra weight to put in the back of such a light car. If you have a look closely here at this vehicle, you'll notice that the engine is behind the rear axle, giving you a rear engine weight distribution. This one, though, is mid-engine. Will it work? Um, here's hoping. So clearly this isn't just as easy as going in, finding the engine, and then telling the engine, hey, pick the Civetta Bolide engine. I'm gonna have to take you in a bit of a modding journey. So we're gonna go into our Steam app, so open up BeamNG, go to the content area, and then find the vehicles. Now we got the Autobello here, and where's the Civetta Bolide? Here we go, Bolide. Then we can get rid of this, go to our mods folder, open up Unpacked, call this the, oh, what's it called again? Ah, that's right, yes, the Autobello Piccolina. So we'll call this whatever we wanna call it. Nah. I like that. And then we're going to recreate the folder structure. So first we need the vehicles folder. Then inside of there, the Autobello folder. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy that. New folder, done. Great. So the next thing is, is inside of here, you've got all your fo files here. And anything you put in here that has the vehicles and then the vehicle name will basically substitute these into here. If it is the same name, it'll replace it. Otherwise, what it'll do is just add files basically effectively into here. What we're gonna do though is take the engine from the bolide. So if we can find engine for now and put that in here. I don't know what engine mounts are. What the hell is engine mounts? Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, don't fully know. But we're gonna grab that and we're gonna grab exhaust and exhaust rally, I think. That is enough. Also gonna put these in here. Now, none of this is gonna get called unless we go in and give it a slot type that fits properly. So back to the Autobello files and engine, and this is called the Autobello engine. So we're gonna copy that and instead put that there. Control S, come back to beam and G, uh, and now hopefully do we have the engine? No. Frick. All right, how do I do this? Ah, uh, the engine mounts go in the middle here. Okay, interesting. So we don't need that, but I don't know why the engine is not just available right now. Should be here. Ah, uh, the mod isn't showing. What it might be is because I created this in the unpacked folder, so I might have to close this off. Here's hoping. Engine, there we go. 3.2 liter V8. Uh, I mean, it's in there invisibly, but it is in there. I wonder if this is gonna tell me. Okay, failed to find the meshes for all of these things. All right, that's easily done. Engine oil is critically low. Where is it trying to put the engine? Where is this said engine? Let's bring up the node finder. Is that it? We take out the engine. Okay, we do actually see the nodes pop in there. Let's get rid of this roll cage so we can see a little bit clearer. And then put the engine back in. And good, okay, we see it all in there and it is actually working, it's just not attached to anything, which is fine. Let's see if we can't find the extra things in here. So engine, we should now have stock, uh, stock engine mounts. Okay, so the engine mounts is what we will need next. So engine mounts, and currently they're meant to attach to these things. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Wait, oh, oh, I know what this is. So the stock engine, does it have nodes? Ah, okay, good. So here's all of the nodes, E something, L and R, so E number and then L and R. And then under the engine mount section, we have E 
M1R. Okay, hold on. Is there more nodes? Oh, okay. These are the engine mounts. So all of these should attach to the engine mounts. EM1R. Good. Okay. So we got the engines and the engine mounts all attaching to these things, which will be on the body. So if we bring out and bolide, have a quick look, we will see that all of these nodes are around here. So we got like RX1L, which will probably be like rear axle. I don't know. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. So yeah, we, we got all of these things here. We just need to now make these into these values instead. So things like RX1R is RX1L, RX1R. Let's find an appropriate node to replace that with. Something around here. What is BR? Looks suspension related. Is it entirely suspension only? No good. Okay, so BX2R is still there and BX1R is there. Okay. So we're gonna go control F on that. By the way, I'm using Notepad++, a free program. And then we're gonna replace this with BX1R. And then replace all. There was 10 versions of it, good, okay. Then RX7R. I'm guessing that would be right X something, whatever X is, 7R. Which makes you think it's really super wide. But where is it? It's a little bit hard to tell, but I think it's right here. So we're talking front of the engine bay sort of area. I think we can attach to whatever B4RR is. So we'll put that in there. Then we got RX8R. Oh God, this is gonna take forever. You know what? I'm just gonna do this and not bore you. All right, that looks to be everything. Save that, and let's try this engine out again, wherever the hell that is. Ah, yes, good. But hey, at least, wait, is that, is that a collision? Do I see a mesh in there? Oh, the engine is here, yes! Will it turn on? No, no, okay. Well, it's apparently not connecting the engine to the fuel tank, which is up here, hidden away, if you have a look, yeah. That's the fuel tank. Autobella engine, we look for slots. And then the fuel is not here. Okay, so energy storage is in fuel tank R and L. And here it's just called main tank. Okay, let's grab main tank and put that in there. It's running. It is running. Now, we haven't obviously cut out the floor plan, but we can deal with that later. Also, the engine is a little bit too far back. I'm assuming that's because of the wheelbase is wrong, but we can get to that eventually. Don't worry about that. Can't believe so far this is running. So, yep, now there's no gearbox. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need to do though is just make sure that we can get a transmission in here. And I, uh, transmission please? Go into engine, there's no transmission in here. So how do we get engine to connect to transmission? Is it usually, okay, let's see what a normal engine does. So 1.1 liter, we have the transaxle. For this one, when it does have an engine, the transaxle is meant to be under here. So why doesn't this one have the transaxle option? We do have the transaxle here. So maybe if we just go ahead, copy this line, go over to the new engine. Now I know that this transmission would normally die, but let's just see what happens if we put that there. Let's go race five speed transaxle. I doubt that's working. If I oh my God, it works. Okay, well that shouldn't work, but it is working. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, oh, it's a little bit hard to drive. Oh my God. Oh dear God. Oh my goodness gracious. This is having a bit of an issue. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try driving it slowly. Oh yeah, there we go. Much better. If we just go slowly. Mm. We could do this. We could. Mm. We could do this. There we go. Yep. Oh, come on. Ha. Ah, ah. Ha. Nope. Okay. There's a slight possibility that perhaps these tires aren't really meant to take this amount of power. Do we have like extra big wheels we can put on? Maybe. 13s by five. Oh, okay, we can go super big. Alrighty, let's go. Oops, square wheels, no. Um, 16 by eights. Okay, much thicker and chunkier. This should do it. And then make these like a race. 
Now let's give it a try, see if it doesn't do a little bit better. That exhaust is just flapping about in the wind, but that's fine. Hey, look at that, it's already so much better. Oh my god, okay, well... Huh. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if it's also using the race gear ratios. What sort of top speed can we reach with this? Well, ignore the exhaust for now. Oh, 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 don't want to roll. Don't want to roll. I think the brakes are dying already, but that's fine. All right, let's see what this does now. Bam, down, bound the back straight. Me do words and stuff. It looks like we're going to go a little over 200 kilometers now, but only in the fact that this thing has a higher rev band. Otherwise, this thing still manages to top out. And you know what's struggling, actually? What the hell? Is this thing error limited, maybe? Oh, damn. Oh, piston ring damage. Engine torque reduced. What? Okay, well, that's not something I was expecting. Hold on. Is it still somehow coding in a use of old engine internals compared to the new engine internals? That would be peculiar, but I wouldn't put... Okay, coolant is overheating. Oh, you know what? <laughs> the original engine is meant to be air-cooled. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's meant to be air-cooled. This thing needs a radiator. Um, oh, shoot. All right. Where would the radiator be? Let's see if we can't try to find it and put that in our new car. It may take a little bit of work to get it to work, but we can, we can fit that in there. Goodness gracious. All right, let's do that now. Where would radiator be? Frick. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Drag that in. And I just realized that we don't have... Oh, no. So this needs to have a place to put a radiator. Oh, you know what? I know where to put this. Let's grab what this radiator is. It is a bolide radiator. Go to the bolide engine. We'll just grab whatever. Control D that. Then we're going to put the bolide radiator stuff in there. And then we're going to call this radiator. Oh, that's wrong. Tor. Then let's see if we can't find radiator under here. Engine, uh, radiator, and then just put in normal radiator. I wonder, do we have the actual mesh for the radiator in here or not? No, it doesn't look like it. It has props and whatnot, and then they have their own nodes, but then the nodes are connecting to nothing. If we mouse over radiator, it just doesn't show up. Hmm. All right, well, let's start by putting all of these things in. FX1R, which would be around here somewhere. Ugh. Huh, I've taken all of the wheels off and it moves on its own. What if I turn the engine off? Uh, what is happening? Why? <laughs> Oi, stop that. Well, that's weird. I've got it all working. But when over here, all we get is the fan, but not the radiator itself. I don't understand. Also, that still wants to creep along. Oh, front and race tier. Okay, good. We can have better brakes. Good. Hopefully these tires aren't too wide. And now let's give it a bit of a try. The exhaust is still flopping on the ground, but I do know how to fix that, similar to what we do to the engine. And oh god! Oh dear. This is pretty freaking wicked. I want to put this up against the default one to see how it does. Whoa. Whoa. Don't worry. We're all good. Yep. And then power it out. This is so much faster and so much better already. Holy cow. But now you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do about this chassis. Well, this is where our first replacement comes in. So we're gonna go to the auto bellow and then I think it's like under body. I'm gonna put that in here and we're gonna call this V8. Then we're also gonna grab the DAE and put that over here. Then import said DAE. And we're only gonna look at the chassis itself, so everything else we can hide. And we're gonna rename this underscore V8. And looking in here, we only have to really remove this. Why well, shouldn't be too hard? Hold well, on, let's go in. Perfect. Basically what we would do in real life, which is just go ahead and delete this section. Delete vertices. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Let's delete a little bit more. And now we've got this under frame section. We should be able to still delete this, right? Delete that. And good, we've only got now whatever this is. Wait, why is everything not showing anymore? What? 
still drives. Mm, we'll figure that out in a bit. Let's delete a little bit more. And it's looking fairly open. I don't know, is this like really necessary to be all the way in here? I feel like it doesn't need to be. So we're gonna find a little bit of a workaround. First, we're gonna select all that. We're gonna go edge split, grab these, then scale that out. 0.6 sounds good to me. And 0.6 on that side, looking good. All right, let's go ahead, I reckon, and re-export this. And perfect, uh-huh. That's what I like to see. Is it in here? Uh, where's flex bodies? Autobello body underscore V8. Now control R and here we go. And oh my goodness, there is some real... T oh, okay, yeah, Beam and G, they really tend to heavily err on the side of single-sided stuff. So let's also grab the materials, J-Beam. Sorry, not materials, Jason. Now all you have to do is find this inside of the materials one. Perfect. And then is there a double-sided thing? I don't think so. Oh, there is no double in here. Frick. Double-sided true. We're just going to grab this from a different mod. And then, I don't know, somewhere in here, we're going to paste it in. Control S and Control R, please. Damn it. <sighs> Looks like we're kind of poop out of luck on this one. But that's fine. Now if only we could get the engine to work. I think what we'll do for this is grab the bolide engine. Then control R. Will it bring the engine back? Maybe. There we go. And the engine just kind of sits there. Perfect. Like it. And it fits within like the proper wheel wells and everything. I mean, you could move the airboxes if you so chose, but you don't need to. We'll also probably now fix this exhaust issue. So how do we attach these? Be under bolide exhaust rally, probably. Got all of the nodes here. Then they need to attach the body parts. All right, where? Uh, oh, that's right. Hey, look, it stopped. Let's spring you back. And well, poop, it's still moving. Oh, weird. It's some sort of like axle thing. I don't. I don't know. Let's instead attach that to K4L. Replace all of those. Now let's try refreshing and good. They are in there solid. I mean, solid enough. I wonder. I think if I rotate this around a little bit, might work a little bit cleaner inside of the body limits and then I won't have to cut out holes. Flex body has got to be in here somewhere. There we go. We don't have any transform, though. Well, let's bring the bolide into Blender this time. Now, we don't need most of these things. We can just get rid of most of it. All right, well, now we're going to have to hide everything else. What if we select all of this, make a face on it, then divide this up, then control T. Good. Now we can rotate everything via this, then rotate via that. Hey, would you look at that? Perfect. I'm gonna grab the name and then put it on this one. Then F4, export, DAE, everything into here under the old bolide name and export. And now back here, we get, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's pretty wicked. Now all we have to do is move these final exhaust nodes, which would be like, Exhaust 7L and Exhaust 8L, and then the same on the other side. There seemingly is already an exhaust, uh, some sort of node out here already. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Do we have a ducktail spoiler that's meant to be here? Deck lid whale tail. Okay, so apparently the whale tail deck lid is not showing up. Hmm, why is that not doing a thing? Wait, is everything that I deleted not actually gonna show up? Aw, oh, come on, why you be like that? Yeah, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that it was going to get rid of everything else. Frick. Now let's grab the Autobello DAE again. Put you in. Oh, it wants to replace it. Ah, oh, that's why. All right. Autobello DAE underscore V8. All right, let's see if that fixes our whale tail issue. 
No. Let's try for a sneaky restart, maybe? Select the engine, at least. Well, the engine... Okay, the engine works. Materials are broken. But at least we know what the issue is. Order Bello DAE, bring you in, control R, and... God damn it, no such luck. Let's at least grab the bolides material. Put that in there. Relaunch into beam NG. <sighs> Why must you be like this? So both Autobella things are in there. It just doesn't like to be separate, huh? Fine. F4, import, DAE. Let's grab the normal Autobello, export it all again and replace the VA1. Then in here, let's get rid of normal Autobello. And... Do we have what we need? Yeah, okay. Um, let's do a sneaky relaunch of Beam and G. Bring out the Autobello. All right, I have an idea. All right, a little bit of fettling and control R. Will you work for me? God damn it, why? Oh no. All right, well, I know what's happened now. Let's do it the other way around. So we're gonna grab the Order Bella Piccolina, then we're gonna copy this, put it into the original file, and then we're just gonna make sure that our materials are right. Good, seats, and good. All right, F4, export, DAE. Replace the V8 with it. Let's get rid of the normal Order Bella. Come back to BMNG, and please, yes, it's working. Now, let's put the right engine in here. V8. Yay! Materials are still broken, are you kidding me? Why? Why must you also be garbage? Everything is looking good here, I'm not seeing... See, if you, if you have a material mistake, it'll usually have dot zero zero one on the end of it or something like that. And we're not... Oh, hold on. This one has an issue, but I'm not using that, so it shouldn't be an issue. Heat shields, we don't need heat shields, we get rid of heat shields. Everything else seems correct. There's, there's no issue. Even the exhaust is, well, wrong. Hold on, let's go fix that. Uh, rally exhaust. Good. Okay, well, the rally exhaust no longer works, right? But it's also got the wrong materials on there. Also, why is this bugging out? What the hell? I have not done anything there. Let's try the main materials again, then. Oh, uh, it's probably grabbing materials. All right, let's grab all things material related. DDS files. I don't know which ones I need. So we're just gonna start with engine. Is there anything else? Gauges, glass, interior carpets, lights, main? Probably not. But we'll grab it anyway. Mechanical looks good as well. The rest looks fine. Drag them in. Come on down, really, come on. Let's try a quick sneaky restart. What? The, what? Whatever, let's just go in and try, oh, even that's, uh, let's replace the engine. Uh, just having a look, and most of this is just bolide mechanical and bolide engine. So let's go in, delete this, grab the main materials from here again. We'll just grab a straight fresh one. Does it, wait, hold on, actually, without having it at all, what happens if I don't have the materials thing? No, okay, doesn't fix it. Let's do a quick cache clear, deep, yep, good. Yep, thank you. Ah, finally, okay. Uh, things are fixed so far, let's see what happens now to the N-Gyne, if we change that to a 2.3 liter N-Gyne. And material issues, god damn it. That's initially why we had the Autobello folder over here, a uh, file over here. So, main materials, then in the bolide main materials section, all we need is engine, put that in here, and mechanical, wherever the hell that is. Mechanical, easily, found it. Control C, and Control V. Please, please do work. Yes, okay, we are back to square one. Yeah. It's 6 a.m. But hold on, you know what? It's actually looking pretty good. Now, the only thing we're gonna wanna do is maybe switch this diff around? 
I have an idea for this. If we have a look at a normal mod from automation, and say you go into like engine structure, in here we'll have flex bodies probably. Good. And here we'll also have rotation and scale. So let's just grab this. Then after the transaxle, we'll put that there. Set all of the rotations and everything to zero. Scale to one. We don't really need to change scale, but we'll leave that for a second now. Save that. And let's just double check that this transaxle will stay in the right place. And yes, it did. Okay. Now let's try rotation upon the Z axis to be 180. Control R. And no. Oh, because I was doing this all to the shift and not to the gearbox. God damn it. Right, let's grab all of this position stuff and put that, I think, here, comma, paste. Make you 180. And a quick refresh in here. Oh, God damn it. How about this time I put it in the right place? Save that. Come back. Control R and... Yes, okay, things are happening. Okay, well, it's just gone. <sighs> Why? I don't understand. It should be working. Let's put this rotation mark to zero. Refresh and... Okay, it's back. All we need now is just 180. Oh, you know what it is? The pivot is all the way over there. So when I rotate this, this is now going to be way up the front. There it is. Okay. I know how to fix this. All we need is about two meters negative. So like minus one on the Y axis and nope, not close enough. Where did we move it to? I'm an idiot. I moved it forwards. God damn it. I'm getting, I'm becoming less and less dumb as time goes on. I promise. Oh, oh, okay. Look at that. We're really close. Point two. Oh, brah. You know what? That's close enough. We'll just say that the transmission was redesigned, maybe, or something like that. Okay, done skis. Perfecta mundo. The only thing that I'm really having a problem with is these throttle bodies. So, sorry, not throttle bodies, these uh, intake pipes. Does the engine have anything for, like, a race intake? Oh, here we go, race intake. Will that just be trumpets? No, it won't. Okay, well, of course it wouldn't be that easy. What about twin turbocharger? Okay, that does give us a different thing, but I don't know if I want turbos on here. I'm surprised that there's no just, uh, ITB setup. That's weird. I have an idea. Since the racing thing is its own slot, I'll just make some ITBs. Oh, okay, well, they don't look so good in here, but at least we have the extra room. And I noticed also that the roll cage fits in here nicely around the engine as if it was meant to be. I am, though, going to move the engine mesh a little bit forwards because I feel that it's just a little bit far back at the moment. Hmm, you know what? There's too many flex bodies. I don't care enough. So, it'll do. That is the place and where the ball, a uh, place in which the bolide sits. And I suppose I, what I could do is maybe move these things here to line up with the axle and having like a not straight axle from the transmission out to the wheels not the greatest thing but if we have a look at this version of the which is the same car apparently uh you'll have a look here that is an incredibly extreme angle to the transmission so i think we're fine we'll just say that Custom transmission, maybe, or maybe just that this axle would have moved this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. So none of the exhaust nodes move. Well, that's easy. Oh, close enough that I'm fine with it. Now, you'll notice that it's coming out at a weird angle. That's because it's not just the exhaust that admits it, but it's also got a trajectory based upon the previous one, which is EX7 L and R. So we want them to basically be the same thing, just a little bit further back, a little bit further down, and a little bit further inwards. Good, they're facing the right way now. I think that is a finished Autobello Piccolina. Oh, bruh. <laughs> oh my God, that's just so cool. Every single time, brake, turn in, oh, a lot of traction. Oh, is it me? Does it handle better? Nope, okay, still goes around, frick. What paint designs do we have? We have Baja livery, which is apparently colorable. Nah, I don't like that. Double stripe colorable. Ooh, hey, would you look at that? You can see even the fans trying to poke through, but we'll uh, ignore that. Oh, a police car? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Psychedelic? 
Oh my god, that is fantastic! How have I never seen that before? And then tricolor, which I'm assuming is... Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Psychedelic, bruh. That is... Oh my god, man, that is sick as! Let's just go also put on some rear tires and then show somebody. We can get some really big wheels on the back here. Let's go with something like that. Big Chungusy. <laughs> this thing is bonkers. All right, let's give this a try. See if it's ready to show somebody. The exhaust flops about way too much. But, oh, oh, that's a lot of fun. I think our brakes are fading. Um, do we have race brakes or do they just squeak by default? Oh, this thing wants to tip. Oh, this thing really wants to tip. But it is controllable. Hell yeah, man. That is awesome. And let's break it down now into Batman. Oh, no, nope, we've lost though. We've lost uh, control of direction. Oh, poop sticks. Oh, well then. Hey, want to see Hello. something stupid? Yes, yes, please. So, this is my favorite car. Do, do you like the Autobella Piccolina from Automation? De uh, sorry, from the Beamer G Devs? I do. I mean, I, I like the ba the Baja version. Oh, okay. Uh, but the race version I find quite difficult. But yeah, I do like it. Do you know what the probably worst thing about this vehicle is? Hmm. I don't know. The the engine seems to get quite get quite hot. Uh. You know what? I agree. Let's stick a radiator on it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. Whoa. Do you see That's the skin. engine? Hold on. I got kicked out of the car. Oh my goodness, it's got twin exhaust. Where's the radiator? I have to, I have to look inside. Oh, well, no. So the radiator doesn't actually spawn. I don't know why. But uh, oh. do you see the engine? Oh, it's exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the cabin. Yeah, it's the uh, Civetta Bolide engine. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Want to give it a try? I mean. Yeah, 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 sure. Let's do it. I love the skin. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, that's actually default in the game. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is actually one of the ones in there. I was going through them. I, I was going to pick one that looked best for this vehicle. I saw this and I was like, I've never seen this before and I want it. Wow. This is... This is really good. Now, a little bit of a warning. It has race slicks on the rear and then sports tires on the oh. front. Mostly because <laughs> otherwise this thing will oversteer like crazy. Because yeah. <laughs> it acts like a bit of a bommy knocker, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Back on the road. I wonder, can we do a drag race? Because I've not drag raced this yet. I want to see how much faster it is. Oh, God, the yeah, understeer right. is chronic. But at least it doesn't go like... Oh, oh. bommy knocker! Oh! <laughs> yeah. I feel I offended. Wait in time. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, the car's not great. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Three. Count it in. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, it did a bit of a wheelie. Yeah. There's zero to 100 in so 3.3 seconds. Holy crap. Well, it looks like you beat me a little bit. Uh, 0 to 62, 3.19. And breaking. Is... <laughs> yeah, wheels aren't great wow. here. Uh, I'm going to try one other little thing so yeah you just, you just come back line up on the grid i want to try mm -hmm. something out uh, editor if you just want to punch in what i'm doing here let's just see how this works all right you ready yep three two one go <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh dear <laughs> the that, engine's on oh, the engine died Am I still gonna beat you? I'm still gonna beat Is that you. The cheap panel or nitrous? <laughs> no, I put the stage three turbo kit on without doing anything else with the wow. engine. Wow, <laughs> Oh my god, the wheelie this thing did was insane. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. I want to try that again. I'll, I wonder if people do uh, drag race Fiat 500s. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I'm also going to like do a quick recording for this and I'm going to grab it for the thumbnail. So people watching, if you see the thumbnail, this is where it's from. So I'm going to go yeah. control F2. All right. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh, Look at every God. gear. Every gear. <laughs> three winning. gears, yeah. That's three gears in a row. Oh, and the engine went again. Oh, God. Well. Oh, wow. that's, that's fantastic. you got to try it out, bro. Whoa. It's so much okay. fun. All right. Three, two, Ooh, one. Hold on. I messed up. <laughs> You're <what? laughs> There you go. I messed up. I, I actually like floored the throttle and it pushed me way over the line. Anyway. Ah. Uh, all right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> that's craziness. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna win. Up. Oh, no, oh, engine went. Oh dear. Oh, oh my okay. god, what is happening to you back there? What about that plus nitro? That'd be good. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving that a try. Long. So now Simulator Adventure has NOS and I don't. And we're going to see what the difference is now and see just how quickly the engine goes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, I, God. Oopsie daisies. Oh. Uh. So I didn't have any wheel spin, really. And I didn't, like, yeah, do a wheelie. But you seem very stable. I don't know. Let's try that again. So I have a boost pressure. I can turn that way up. It's at 30 PSI now. Minimum gear, one. Oh. Minimum RPM, 2,000. My god. <laughs> Alrighty, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on. I should turn the nuts on. Three, two, one, go. Oh, engine's Whoa. going. Engine torque reduced. Oh, I know why I'm not getting extra wheel spin. Oh. The torque gets reduced by second gear. Yeah, um, <laughs> of course, yeah. I, I, I do massive rolls. My <laughs> 0 to 100 was 2.5 seconds. I want to try that again. You... <laughs> Let's see what we yeah, do. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. Overtalk risk instantly. 2.1 seconds. Oh, <sighs> bruh. This thing is crazy. I'm going to go ultra heavy duty long block, ultra heavy duty engine mount, is race that oil pan. Oh, you can. Yeah. I'm going to try one more time, see if I can make it all the way down to the end of the track. You ready? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go. I forgot to change into gear. Oh, it's just... uh, mm, Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's trying to kick out sideways. Oh my god, the nitrous has taken off. Yeah. <laughs> I need to adjust my top speed, I think. 160 is like limiting it. Oh, yeah. Uh, final drive gear ratio. Here we go. All right, let's try that out. I'm going to try the NOS now that I know that the engine can dig it. So let's go. Engine. Oh, fire. Let's go. Nitrous yeah, oxide. Change that up to the biggest. Oh, it only has a 10 bottle. All right. So Let's after go all my modifications, every time I respawn, the right window breaks. That's <laughs> how scared the car is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Minimum gear. The whole car's shaking. 200 kilowatt shot, 2000 RPM. Okay. All right. Ready. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Did you just blow the engine? No, oh yeah. No, I, I, it's, it's, oh, I have the longest wheelie ever. Over talk risk. Oh. Damn. Damn, that would have been cool to watch. All right. <laughs> the thing still <laughs> manages to die with an extra 200 kilowatts attached to the engine. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Man, I need to get this into single player oh. to see what it does for a, um, uh, a drag race wow. strip. This is crazy. All right. <laughs> Out of 10, what do you give it? <laughs> it's a 10. I've All never right. seen a mod like this for this car. <laughs> Fantastic. This is ridiculous. All right, man. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. All right. Before we send this down the drag strip, if you've liked the video, consider liking and subscribing. I do lots of stuff like this. But for now, I want to see what this thing does on the quarter mile. Let's see who's got the gutsier vehicle. <laughs> I mean, I do have a V8. Line up. There we go. Okay. All right, and go. Come on, don't blow the engine. Oh, 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 I'm winning. Don't, uh, over a brush, yes. Oh, an 8.4 second right off the bat. All right, let's, uh, I wonder if, is there a faster car maybe? Hopefully the Civetta can go a little bit faster. And since I'm not too concerned about the engine losing power, we're gonna give it the full beans. Okay, and away we go, come on, quarter mile, 8.3 was my last one, oh, this is bad, this is going bad, oh dear god, okay, <clears throat> let's try that again, come on, here we go, okay, let's keep it in a straight line this time, lots of nice, no engine damage yet, over Everest, that's fine, 
An 8.4. Okay, a little bit faster, but oh my god, that's a better. Not as fast as you might think. My god, this has been <laughs> absolutely bonkers. I love it. I wonder what it's like actually up against a real Savetta. I don't know if we should go the group fire. That's probably not the best at like doing drag races, but let's give it a, 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 a sure. If you're going to want to try this mod, I will be putting it on the BeamNG repository. It'll be completely up to you if you want to use it or not. There we go. Good. Okay. And huh. I mean, I did roll backwards a little bit. I think I actually bounced off the rear bumper and flew up in the air for a second. Bruh. Who uses the engine better? Me or you, Savetta? Nah. <laughs> you lose. Oh, dearie me. This is <laughs> this is so much fun and so much dangerous. I wonder, do the di the dials do work, but they go like way off the scale? Shoot. I think, yeah, I think it's only meant to go up to 5,000 RPM. This goes like, it goes to 6,000 and then red lines. It doesn't want to go anymore. <laughs> oh no. Oh shoot. Oh dear! The oil temperature is quite high as well. Okay, let's go back to an external camera and make it a little bit easier to draw. This thing is bonkers. All right, so I tuned the suspension a little bit earlier, frick, uh, for doing uh, just like the normal engine stuff, but not with this. This is this is too much power. Oh god! Ah! Oh, it's jank. Let's set it back to race intake. And then just enjoy the fact that I put ITBs on it. I mean, there's low polygons, a lot of the polygonal, you get the idea. But still, that's pretty fine. I liked that little touch. But if we're being honest, nobody's ever really gonna notice that too much. It's uh, a very hard thing to spot there. It's, it's quite dark. Usually the thing's meant to be held in an engine bay, so I understand why they never bothered to put ITBs on there. I just like the fact that I was... I, I did it. I, I think it was pretty cool. Got the exhaust perking up, all that sort of stuff. It's just... It's a cool vehicle. Oh, God. Even though I should probably do something about the radius, I'm probably not going to. I'm just going to be a lazy and leave it as is. Hmm. I wonder what Shiny Odd thinks. Ah. Well, they like the idea. And you know who also probably likes the idea? My channel members. And that specifically includes Dehellerman. Thank you very much for being a top tier channel member. For the rest of you, I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.